from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English, an educational support program for intermediate English learners. It's a program for people from all language backgrounds, and Ramping Up Your English, as well as for people of all ages. If you've already passed the beginning stages of learning English, and you want to reach higher levels of English proficiency, this program is designed to meet your needs. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our current thematic unit is Animals, and this is segment one of episode 38. So far, we featured some familiar animals in this unit. The word familiar in English means well-known, and it's no accident that we begin our thematic unit on animals that are well-known to English learners. The word familiar has interesting roots, and those apply to today's show as well. The word familiar is tied to the concept of family, and today we're looking at animals that are often considered part of our families. The word for this category of animal is pets. So today's show has everything to do with pets. The most common pet in the United States is dogs, also known as man's best friend. Dogs provide companionship, love, affection, protection, and fun. They are very adaptable to the lives that humans lead. But having pets demands some caring on our parts. These dogs, for example, give all the gifts mentioned above. But they also receive good food, a clean and comfortable shelter, space in which to thrive, and the playful interaction you see here. Let's view a video clip about caring for your pets. Now, until this episode, most video clips on this program were produced by me. Well, the following clip, however, is from Dade County, Florida. I'll post its YouTube link on my website, letscreate.org. Let's see how much English you understand in this video clip. Friendship, fun, love. Pets give us so much, but unlike their wild animal cousins, they can't take care of themselves. Just like kids rely on their parents, Pets need people to provide for their basic needs, too. We're talking about things like food and water, shelter and identification, potty needs, health care, exercise, and grooming. Before bringing home a new dog or cat, there are things you need to know to make sure your pet becomes a happy and healthy member of your family. All pets need food and water. Most animals need to be fed once or twice every day. Find out from your veterinarian or pet supply store what kind of food you should give them. Never ever give your pet table scraps. People food, especially chocolate, may taste good, but it can make your pet very sick. And here's something really important. Make sure your pet always has a bowl of fresh, clean water available so they can get a drink. Next is shelter and identification. If your dog or cat spends a lot of time outside, they need a place to get out of the hot sun in the summer or cold and rain in the winter. A fenced yard with a doghouse or other shelter is great for dogs and provides a safe environment for your pet. It is not okay to tie or chain your dog in the yard. That's called tethering and it is against the law in Miami-Dade County. Remember, dogs are pack animals by nature. Your family is their pack and they want to be with you as much as they can. It's cruel to tie them up and leave them alone outside and it can lead to aggressive behavior. Animals that are treated like a part of your family are better adjusted and will have a closer bond with you. Did you know that a collar and tag are more than just cool fashion accessories? Your pet can't tell his name or where he lives. So every pet needs a collar with their license tag and an ID tag that they wear all the time. If your pet ever gets lost, that little ID tag is just like their ticket back home to you. Ask your veterinarian about a microchip too. Just like us, Pets need a place where they can go to the bathroom. For dogs, that means outside, so be prepared to take them out for frequent walks. 
and clean up after them. No one wants to step in your dog's poop, so scoop it up and throw it out. Indoor cats use a litter box as a bathroom, and like the bathroom you use, it needs to be kept clean. You want your pet to be around a long time, so don't forget about his health care needs. Pets need regular checkups with the veterinarian, just like we need annual checkups with the doctor. If you're bringing home a new dog or cat, one of the first things you should do is to take it to the vet to get a thorough checkup along with the necessary vaccinations. To keep your pet healthy, give them plenty of exercise. You need to walk, run, or play fetch with your dog every day. It's fun and it's good for them, and for you. Cats, especially if they live indoors, also love quality playtime with you, and they benefit from the workout. Grooming keeps your pet's coat healthy and looking great. Regular combing or brushing helps cats have fewer hairballs and shed less. Dogs should be brushed often and have a bath about once a month. And don't forget to brush their teeth. Seriously, tooth decay can lead to many other health problems. As you can see, pets really need us to take care of them. It's a big responsibility. They need food and water every day, shelter and identification. Don't forget the collar and ID tag, a place to go to the bathroom, health care, including vet checkups, grooming, tooth brushing, and plenty of exercise. And there's one more thing to add to the list, respect and kindness. Just like you, pets have the right to be treated with respect and kindness. They thrive on your attention and affection. So make sure your pet knows how much you love them. Give them plenty of hugs, kisses, ear scratches, and belly rubs. The more love you give, the more love they'll give back to you in return. Once you're ready to get a pet, consider adopting a shelter pet from Miami-Dade Animal Services. Hundreds of lovable dogs and cats are looking for loving forever homes, like yours. Brought to you by Miami-Dade County Public Schools and the Miami-Dade County Animal Services Department. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. Let's take a look at your experience in viewing the previous video clip. Did the narration seem too fast, too slow, or just right? Did you understand the narration easily, or was it a struggle? Did you find yourself translating the words into your home language, or did the English lead directly to the concepts? Now, all these questions can help you informally assess your comprehension level of English. I suggest you write the answers to these questions in your notebook and add the approximate percentage of the video clip you understood for comparison with similar clips in the future. Include the date, the episode, which is number 38, and the name of the clip, which is Pet Care Basics. There's more to come about pets. We'll be right back, right after this. Is it true that ramping up your English is going to the dogs? Yes, it is. And cats, horses, rabbits, geese, jaguars, and more. Join us in our new unit on animals. Ramping Up Your English is for intermediate English learners from all language backgrounds and all ages. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our new thematic unit is animals. This science unit helps viewers advance in language functions that will stretch their English skills and learn a few things from dogs as well. Openness, trust, faithfulness, loyalty, playfulness and more. The, the qualities that we as humans really do need to learn and to have in our lives on a daily basis because they deliver such beautiful rewards. Ramping Up Your English can be seen on the Ashland Home Network on channels 15 and 115. It's on channel 182 on Charter Cable in the rest of Southern Oregon. Join us for better English and a grand time with animals. <laughs> 